Hi guys, Brian Scurley, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my predictions for Backlash which is on this Sunday. Um, unfortunately, Thomas isn't feeling too well so he won't be doing these predictions with me. So what I'm going to do is, if I get four or more wrong of my predictions, as there is eight matches that I'm going to be predicting, I will still go ahead and do a forfeit. When we actually get to Backlash, there may be more than eight matches on. But I'm just going to go through the ones that I know are definitely on right now. So the first one that we're going to start with is Charlotte against Carmella. This is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And I think that Charlotte's going to recapture it. It would be nice to see Carmella going forward with it. But I'd much prefer to see Charlotte holding on to it for like a proper long time. Build up the feel of the actual title. Let, let, let's point back on Charlotte. Next, we've got Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. Again, we all know what's going to happen here. Nia Jax is going to walk away with the championship because they're not going to have the person who is the fat shaming bully win this. I just hope this is, this is the end of it. No matter who walks away with the title, I just hope this is the end of the whole fat shaming storyline. I, ju I just don't like the feel of it. The next match that we've got is for the United States Championship. This is Randy Orton versus Jeff Hardy. For this one, I was kind of unsure who I thought I wanted to walk away with this one. I'm going to say Jeff Hardy. It'd be nice to see a nice little run from Jeff Hardy. And I know, I know it's not going to last forever, but I've said it before, Randy Orton's kind of too predictable and everything in the ring. So to see him going forward with the championship and defending it, yeah, I just, I, I think I'd just get bored of it. But with Jeff Hardy, it'll keep it exciting, the, all the matches going forward. And there's a lot of dream matches you could actually put on with Jeff Hardy through this. Next, we have Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. I don't really get why they started this storyline. Uh, I think it was just something interjected into it. Because the main thing that we really want to see is The Miz versus Daniel Bryan. But yeah, I think Daniel Bryan's going to win this. It's going to give him momentum going into his feud against The Miz. So yeah, uh, I just really hope that Daniel Bryan wins this. Again, I don't really see the point of this feud. Big Cash should have came back as a face rather than a heel. Next, we've got Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Right, so this is two big behemoths going against two technically gifted wrestlers. So you could see both sides from uh, a victory on this. But I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I know that it looks like Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman could just crush them. But I just want a big win for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This will be great pushing them. This will be great going forward. And they've not had the best luck re lately, really. So, yeah, this one would be a good one going forward. Now we move on to Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say it. Roman Reigns is going to walk away with a victory on this. I would like to see Samoa Joe walking away with a victory, but the truth is, the past two pay-per-views, Roman Reigns has lost to Brock Lesnar, so I, I just feel like they're not going to have him losing, losing again in a pay-per-view, so yeah, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns on this, even though I would like to see Joe win it. Now we have Seth Rollins against The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. This one's a no-brainer. It's going to be Seth Rollins walking away with the championship, because they're not going to have both the Intercontinental and United States on SmackDown. So yeah, uh, Seth Rollins is walking away with the championship on this. I kind of wish it was The Miz, to be honest, because The Miz has been a phenomenal Intercontinental Champion. That's not to say that uh, Seth Rollins is a bad champion. Seth Rollins is a great champion. It is brilliant to see any title around Seth Rollins' waist, but... I would prefer to see the Miz with this championship. But yeah, Seth Rollins is winning that one. And finally, we move on to the WWE Championship. This is going to be AJ Styles against Shinsuke Nakamura in a no disqualifications match. For this one, it was a tough one to pick from because I think this is going to be their final match. You know, like a best of three sort of thing. And if it is, uh, my pick is the... Probably the right choice for this, and it's Shinsuke Nakamura. The reason he's probably the right choice for this is lost both... Well, he's not had a win yet in the best of three. And 
It would be great to see Shinsuke Nakamura walking around with a championship. Maybe you'd be able to amp up his character a bit more because we are just starting to see a bit more of like everything from Shinsuke Nakamura. And when he first arrived at the show, it felt like he was being held back a little bit. It, it didn't feel like the pure Shinsuke experience that we could get. But yeah, um, so I'm going to say Shinsuke Nakamura on this. And I'm going to say that he's going to win with a low blow. Just to keep that heel momentum going. But those are my predictions for Backlash, which is on this Sunday. Um, and like I said, there will be a little forfeit going on. If I get four or more wrong, I will be picking a forfeit out of the box. And I will still be going ahead with it. Even though... It's just me this time. But yeah, I hope you did like this video. If you did like it, give it a like. Let me know down below your predictions for this pay-per-view. Because they might be completely different from mine. Um, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button. So you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next